When it comes to buying the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, there are really only three choices. One, I think is the absolute best, but that's probably not the one that I'm gonna go with. So there really only are three choices when it comes to buying the 2024 Toyota Tacoma or not. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you the first one, the best choice in my opinion, right off of the bat. But before we get to that, at the end of the video, I will let you know what I'm gonna do now at the moment. I've kind of softened a little bit uh, on my stance, at least for what I want when it comes to the 2024 Tacoma. So first of all, the three choices. Number one, the best choice, particularly if your existing Toyota Tacoma is paid for. You know, you don't owe anybody anything, and that's to go ahead and keep the truck that you have. And why wouldn't you? Particularly if you have a late model, a recent Toyota Tacoma, you know, maybe three, four years old, something like that. You don't have a million miles on it. I mean, the Toyota Tacoma is gonna last a long time, right? You could have it for 10, 15 years. So if you've got one that you've had for two or three years, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to trade it off, right? Again, especially if it's paid for. The best truck you can own, and I don't care what brand it is, is a paid for truck because even if maintenance things come up or something goes wrong say you're driving around in a Ford and you need to replace the transmission it's a lot cheaper than buying a whole new truck right but that's not what I'm gonna do if you've watched the channel for a while and if you haven't I'm here to tell you now I don't keep trucks for a whole long time I like to switch them out I like to experience the new ones and there's a really strong urge with this new Tacoma because it's all new. It's the redesigned 2024, right? So I'm not looking to do that, at least in the long term. Probably, I shouldn't say probably, I will not have this truck for another five years, another two years, maybe not even another year. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Doesn't mean I won't change my mind, but I know who I am, right? So the next option, and you may have noticed already, this video is not about the different models. We will get to that at the end and my softening a little bit. Um, the next option is obviously to go ahead and buy one. Take what you can get, because it seems to me that selection or choice is going to be very limited. You know, there's a lot of rumors out there about Toyota only producing to allocation. They're not gonna stock the lots. Not every truck they put out is gonna sell via allocation. So of course there will be some on the lots, but it's not gonna be like the old days where you can do the old lot walk and there's a whole row of trucks and you kind of pick out what you want. So you're probably gonna to have to settle. You're gonna to have to take what they have. That's kind of compromising a bit, I think. Uh, maybe not if you're not that particular and you just want you know whatever the truck has to offer and you don't really care so much about choice and all of that might not be such a bad way to go for you the third option and this is the worst option is to completely abandon toyota altogether don't buy a new tacoma go to a different manufacturer like a ford or a chevy i have to say i do kind of dig the look of the chevy it's not something i would buy but i say it's the worst option because they all seem to have problems. And the last thing you want to do is get a new truck and have to be sitting over at the service shop, having things fixed, even when it's under warranty. You know, it's a waste of your time. I can't stand sitting and waiting. I'm impatient. So if that bugs you, I think you'd probably agree. It's not necessarily the best way to go. Now, there's a caveat to that. Of course, this new Tacoma is untested in society in the real world there's no way toyota can test the truck for everything that you and i are going to do with it pushing it past its limits overloading it not letting it warm up fully you know it is going to be a turbo are you supposed to leave it sit and warm up a bit before you take off i don't know a lot of people would have you think so what about when you're turning it off when you're done on a long trip or any trip you bring it home are you supposed to let it run for a few minutes before you turn it off or push it off that's another thing out there that people say you're supposed to do again i'm impatient not something i want to do but you know if you got to do it you got to do it i guess now i had mentioned i'm kind of softening a little 
You know, my stance uh, as of late on the new Tacoma has been that I want the hybrid version because I want uh, the most that Toyota has to offer in the new Tacoma, and that would be the four-cylinder hy hy hybrid, I guess. We'll have a battery, extra range, extra power, I would think, but I don't know. For me, and what I do, and that's having the YouTube channel and, you know, testing out new trucks and stuff. For me, that's kind of buying the top of the line. And what do you do with it? You know, if you buy the top of the line, there's probably not going to be a lot of mods and things that you should do, uh, particularly on a hybrid. It's a whole different setup, a whole different animal. I mean, the turbo's bad enough, but it's done. It's a finished truck, not something that I really want. Now, ideally for me would be if Toyota offers the hybrid version in the lower trims. When I say lower, I mean below the Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro. And from what I've seen so far, at least in the beginning, those are the only trucks that Toyota is going to allow us to have in the form of a hybrid. That limits me if I'm going to pigeonhole myself into a spot where I'm only willing to buy a hybrid version. So, I say I've softened a bit. I'm considering. I'm considering, and this makes sense to me, and leave a comment, let me know if you agree. It makes more sense to me to buy a four-cylinder turbo, probably an SR5, maybe a TRD off-road or sport. Eh, I haven't decided yet, because even when you go to the TRD levels, you're getting more or you're getting a truck that has more that requires less to be done. And that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, right? I mean, I wanna be able to do stuff to the truck and I don't wanna pay for things that I'm gonna remove, like maybe a lift, like wheels and tires, like the things that Toyota adds to those trim levels, charges you more money for that you may not really want. I mean, I can just picture getting a TRD off-road that's got chrome or silver looking or whatever wheels. I don't want that, or has a, a tamer, more civilized tire. I don't want that either. So I'm $2,300 to $3,000 in the negative as soon as I sign the paperwork because I know I'm gonna replace that stuff. Now, it's still gonna be to the negative if I did that with an SR5, but at least I won't have spent that extra money because you know they're all gonna cost more money anyway to get into a TRD off-road. I can set it up the way that I want and in the end have what's probably equivalent to a TRD off-road anyway. So that's kind of what I'm thinking now. Maybe, you know, towards the end of the year, and this all depends on whether or not the hybrid versions are available and what Toyota does with them, but maybe I'll reconsider and take a look at the Sport or the off-road or real realistically the SR5 and uh, and go with that. I do hope that everybody's prediction is correct, and that is that all of the third gens are worth a heck of a lot more money, and I can offset the cost of the new one uh, because of the extra money that I'll be able to get, hopefully, out of the third gens. We shall see. I don't know that I'm a believer in that, but time will tell, I suppose. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. There's really only three choices when it comes to the 2024 Tacoma, and that is keep what you've got, buy it, or switch to a different brand. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're going to do. I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.